Hello everybody, and welcome to the Forest Monica Island Trail. Wanted to go through and give a little tour during the day to give everybody a chance to see how it goes because I know at night time uh, it gets pretty crazy and we don't have a chance to do it. So I'm going to do a walk through and we'll start here. This is going to be our uh, photo spot for those that want to take a picture for the year. Um, we're doing a little contest, a little raffle basket with gift cards and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of the stuff is donated by the pumpkin stand, so we appreciate their donations. So we'll start here, and they'll walk over and start here. This is the waiting line. This is a new prop that we added this year. It's pretty cool. So we'll go through. This is the queue line. Share your photos to our Facebook page. Here's our sponsors. Uh, Discovery or Discover Kiwi Lake, Heirlooms Creations, Little Venice, Nate Powell's Nate <laughs> P. Cowell's Photography. Thank you guys for your sponsorship. We appreciate it. This is the um, now what do you call it? Um, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm pretty tired from all week. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, gypsy scene. This is where uh, they tell your fortune and all kinds of stuff like that. So this is be here for when you're waiting in line to go through the trail. Pretty neat setup. This guy is not a part of it. He goes to our ticket booth area. I'll show you that here in a second. So this is a queue line. This is where we'll come here and they'll wait here to go through the line. My dad will be here and he'll send him down the trail. So this is where it truly, truly begins. So this is coming up to the carnival scene. Some cool decorations on the side here. This is a ticket booth. This is where that guy is going. He talks to you and he glows up. It's pretty cool. Uh, another new addition that I uh, didn't think it would actually work, but uh, it works phenomenally. So we're pretty excited about that. So you're going to come down. See some ghosts and some spiders. This is the carnival scene. Some heads and some hands and some stuff. Some creepy baby dolls. Some clowns. There's always some clowns in the carnival scene. This guy is uh, not in the mood today. He's got his back towards us. We'll have to fix that. But he's pretty creepy. Yes. Some more stuff. This is a rotten candy booth with a clown. Pretty excited. We have some two headed babies. Some uh, carnival stuff that you would see in a carnival. A monkey. Rabbit bear. All right. more stuff and props so we got some really cool donations this year I know I'm kind of going through it pretty fast so I apologize about that it's a ghost in the shed here it'll be lit up from behind there's a lot of lights that I didn't talk about, but there's more lights and stuff like that. This will be facing them as they come down. We'll have that set up before the uh, trick-or-treaters come through. Now we're coming to the mad scientist scene, AKA torture zone. Some cool stuff here. So you go through here into the mad scientist area. Some of his tools and utensils that he uses for testing and trial and error kind of stuff. There's some bones, spiders. This guy's pretty cool. He lights up and he's getting electrocuted. His face glows up too. It's pretty cool. Some more tools and equipment. There's Frank and cuted. He's acting like he's getting electrocuted as his eyes glow. He shakes all over this table. Heads. 
some skulls and skeletons, bones, some bats. This is where COVID came from. All right, so go through here. This is the werewolf scene. This is where they're uh, barbecuing some human remains, eating some marshmallows. Some cool stuff. The creepy guy here. Now remember, we're going through the during the day, so it's not as uh, exciting. But at nighttime, with the lights and everything, it really makes it the imagination go wild. So the kids love it. Turn back biters, some bones. There's a creepy old bar in the background. There's a red light. It makes it really creepy in the back. It makes it look like something's going on. And as we go through, we're coming up to the cemetery. Here's the cemetery run by the, the Wicked Witch of the West, in a way. There'd be someone here popping out and scaring people. We have a coffin with a guy in it. Tombstones. We have some strobe lights on this and uh, some purple lights, so it's going to glow up pretty well. Green mask. Everybody knows that. Creepy guy. Ghost. We'll put some things underneath he these rollers here to make it look like you're getting squished. This creepy crawly lady, she rolls back and forth and screams at you. Pretty rude. Keep another guy in Zen mode. Here we go. Now we're coming up to Pumpkin Hill. So there's going to be some lights and all these carved pumpkins. We had a uh, pumpkin carving party on Friday. A bunch of people came over and carved some really cool uh, pumpkins and designs. Came out really well. We're pretty stoked about it. We'll have some lights in them so they'll be glowing during the night. This is all Pumpkin Hill, sponsored by Cayuga Sunrise Farm. Thank you guys for your donation. Appreciate it. Some more cool pumpkins. Pumpkin Hill. This creepy guy. Another another uh, spot where people are going to jump out and spook as they go into the mad scientist scene. We will have a bunch of people out here working, scaring, for those that want to be scared. This is for the Stranger Things, if you ever watched that on Netflix. Season 1, they're missing. Barbara and Will. Some glow up pumpkins. And as we come up here... This goes to the wedding scene. There'll be a, a light on them, and they talk and spiral and do some weird stuff. It's a nice scene. And as you come around the corner here, we're coming to the Stranger Things scene. There's Dart down here in his cage. I think that's season three. We got the TV. If you watch the scene, you know what we're talking about, the, the show. It's a great show if you haven't watched it, Stranger Things. Check it out. And they're bikes. They ride bikes everywhere. And Eleven's Egos. She loves those. And we're coming up to the cannibal scene. Where they eat humans and do all sorts of experiments on them, just like the mad scientist. Got the hanging heads here. Pretty gnarly. And creepy. 
Yes. They're all looking away. They're, they're shy. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Creepy. All right. Chop shop. Got some more bones, some more human remains. Some cool stuff on the table. Some cool decorations in the back. This is our spider section. A bunch of creepy spiders just hanging around. This would be cool. Looks way creepier at night. You got this creepy guy just lounging around. There's a little lady in the back just chilling. Then we're coming up to the classic scene. You walk through here, this is a new addition to this um, blow up entry. Freddy. Chill. You got Jason. He'll be going off all night. He's pretty excited. Ready to chop some heads. Okay, in Crystal Lake. Yeah, Michael. He's looking pretty sick these days, so maybe he's gonna grab a couple kids and eat them to fill right back up. Can you go through here? Some little decorations. And as you can tell, we're coming up to the witch scene. Lots of things to look at. Creepy old witch. We come up the stairs. Bunch of cool things for the witch scene. Oh, this is going off already. She's excited. Just doing some practice. Some more creepy stuff. return light lanterns so for the kids that don't want to be scared we give them a lantern and they go through we don't scare them if they don't have a lantern it's a game on fresh meat some ghosts and you come down and then this will be it go end here coming down checking out some pumpkins and the pirate scene here is pretty cool It'll be pretty lit up we're gonna pirate up there with the pumpkin above it. It's pretty awesome. Today, Halloween, 530 to 8. We are excited. We are more set up than we ever have been. If I have a chance to even do this, I normally don't. It's pretty awesome. Then we'll come to the refreshment stand. And this is where for those that you know went through the trail or don't want to go through the trail they can come here and get their refreshments there'd be like cookies brownies a bunch of snacks maybe popcorn and there'd be coffee hot cocoa water dog treats uh, toys for the dogs and we got to thank riley's place for taking care of us they, they're awesome they treat us well they donate tons of stuff for us they fed us on sunday help us be ready for the whole day we had a long day over the yesterday and over the weekend it's been pretty awesome so this is it guys we appreciate it hope you guys uh, have a great halloween uh thank you everybody that donated and uh take care good care of us we appreciate each and every one of you we thank for all the, the businesses and uh the community is amazing and uh we hope that uh, we make everybody happy and proud all right, we'll be here till 
I believe eight o'clock. So come on down and uh, have some fun. Happy Halloween, everybody.